Okay, here is, my name is Anita Kadura, and here is my SNAP TT performance task. And if you notice here, um, in my application, I've included um, a list of script variables. I've created um, first number, second number, and calculation blocks. And inside those, if you look inside, you'll find uh, in, you'll find two loops. You'll find an if statements and embedded if statements. All right. You'll see that I have declared variables, and I have done mathematical equations. I have taken input and have uh, have uh, made statements, and then I've also done a report at the end because this is a calculator, and it'll do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But it also stores three values; stores it in a list. All right, so it'll take the first three answers, or C values, and store them in the list. All right, and then it will start replacing in the list in the order that they're done. All right, so on the fourth one, it will replace the last, and then it will replace the second, and then it will replace the first. And that's the way it replaces in this. So I'm going to run this for you so that you can see exactly how it works. And at the end, it's going to give you a report and show the results right, for the three values in the list. You can see the three value, the values for A, B, and C right on the stage. Right. So here it goes. So please enter a number, enter a second number, and then it asks me for to enter one of these values, enter now, I'm going to subtract, all right, so 34 is what I entered, then 22, and then C is the difference, so I'm going to enter another one, all right. 56, and 2, and this one I'm going to divide, so 56 is there, then 2, and then the last one, I'm going to do division, right, and came up with 20, couldn't read that, should be 26, and now is the last one, because it does 3. <coughs> And then two, and I'm going to multiply. All right, and there's my three values that are in the list. Okay, so that's my app. All right, and it does serve a purpose because it does do basic calculations. And it also stores values. Now, I could have increased this larger than three values. And then I would have done more than three. It would have done more than three loops because I have it based on how many items there are or how many results. So it would have adapted to this automatically. So there it is.